Hi everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Sentinels of the Multiverse, the video game. Wait for the music. Alright. Uh, in the last episode, we uh, we got stomped by Mr. Spite here. Um, we had some bad draws with his drug cards. And the worst ones came up early, and they uh, messed us up. I also made a, an error, and I didn't use Spite's nemesis in the, uh, in the fight against Spite. So, uh, Wraith... Wraith is his nemesis. We've used Wraith before. She's right here. So when I do finally beat Spite, I'll make sure to use her uh, in that in that fight. Today is Plagrat. He's the last difficulty two villain that we have, and I'm actually kind of nervous because I have never beaten Plagrat before in the physical version. I've not tried him yet in the digital version, um, but I think I'm going to try to stack the cards against him a little bit, only because. I, he's scary to me, <laughs> even though he's only difficulty 2. So, the biggest thing that you need for him is ongoing destruction. He plays a lot of ongoing cards, and Visionary has just a pure power that she can use to destroy ongoings. So, I think for sure I'm going to pick her. Tempest has some really great AoE healing, as well as Legacy has some good AoE healing. So I think for sure I want to take these three. I want to add one more. And you know, there's really only one person that we've not used yet, and that's Mr. Fixer. Mr. Fixer. So I think this will be our team right here. He's a... Uh, I'll explain him a bit more as we get into the game, but he's kind of a, your martial artist character. Um, he uses... Well, I'll, I'll just... Once we get in the game, I'll, sh I'll show you, but... Let's see. I think there's only one location we've not done yet, and that's Rook City. Which is a little unfortunate, because I believe Rook City is considered to be one of the toughest environments. So, a combination of Plague Rat and Rook City... I'm, I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of worried. But, let's dive right in. Hopefully, um... Hopefully I'm just remembering it badly. Got the Rook City blues playing in the background. Alright, so Plague Rat's gonna say, Rrrg! Bite, gnaw, rend! Rrrg! Legacy does as usual. We fight this day for liberty and justice. Alright, so here's our setup. Let's take a look at Plague Rat before we get into the game. At the start of the game, Plague Rat enters play Plague Bearer side up. Here he is. Plague Locust is put into play. The villain deck is shuffled. At the start of the game, oh no, at the start of the villain turn, if all active heroes are infected, Plague Rat flips. Whenever a card named Infection is destroyed, Plague Rat deals each hero target 4 toxic damage. At the end of the villain turn, Plague Rat deals each hero target one irreducible melee damage. So this is how he's going to work. He's going to play infected cards. My team is going to get infected. Infected heroes deal damage to each other. And if I destroy infection cards, it deals a lot of damage to everybody. When everyone gets infected, he's going to flip. At the start of the villain turn, Plague Rat does each infected hero target two toxic damage. Then if any active heroes are not infected, Plague Rat flips back. And while he's on this side, we have additional powers. Your hero deals a hero target 3 toxic damage, and you regain 3 HP. Or deal yourself 4 toxic damage and destroy a card named Infection. So, I'm still not completely sure on the best way to play against this character, but I believe what we do is we destroy ongoing cards that are not Infections using Visionary. This is at least the plan that I'm going to try. <laughs> When we're all infected, we'll flip over. In that same turn, everyone will destroy their toxic or their infection card. They everybody will take four toxic damage. But unlike this side, we're not gonna take what for each 16 toxic damage for destroying all the infection cards. We'll destroy them all at once, he'll flip back, and I'll have to go through that same process. I hope that's gonna work. I don't actually know. So let's see, there's Plague Locus. Increases damage dealt by Plague Rat and all infected heroes by one. So this has to die very quickly. At the end of the villain turn, Plague Rat regains X HP, where X is the number of infected heroes. So infections plus Plague Lotus, very bad. Ah, here's the first one. Noxious Bite is a one shot. Plague Rat deals the hero target with the lowest HP for toxic damage. Search the villain deck for a copy of the card Infection. Put it into play. Alright, so here comes Infection. Who's got the lowest HP? Um, 
Let's give it to Visionary, I suppose. So Noxious Bites can hit it for four, plus the Plague Locust, which is down here, for additional one. She's going to take five. Infection's going to get played. All right, when this card is played, if all active heroes are infected, move it to the trash and play the top card of villain deck. It's not. Play this card next to an active hero who is not infected. That hero is infected. At the start of that hero's turn, they deal themselves one irreducible toxic damage. So I think we'll give the first infection to Legacy, as he clearly has the most hit points. Alright, so there we go. And now Plague Rat's going to deal two to everyone. He'll do his base, plus Plague Locust, so two to everyone. And you see how it's actually kind of highlighted in this cool thing? I It's got like this pink highlight. I believe this means irreducible when it's got this highlight around it. I believe it means that the damage is irreducible. So no defenses or anything will ever help with that. Alright, Legacy's turn finally. He's going to hit himself for two. Irreducible toxic damage. That sucks. I need to kill the Plague Locust as quickly as possible. So... I think we'll do back fist strike to do four to plague locust, and then we'll galvanize. I think that's the play. So because plague locust boosts the damage of infected heroes, legacy will actually hit for five, which is a great start. And I'm gonna galvanize to boost the rest of the damage by one. All right, Mr. Fixer's up. So like I was saying before, Mr. Fixer is a karate master. He knows a bunch of styles and stances that he can combine with tools. So his base power is... Oh, I can't check it yet, but I will check it in a minute. Here's an example of his style. Ongoing style. You can only have one style card into play. When this card enters play, destroy all other styles in play. So after Mr. Fixer, Mr. Fixer deals uh, damages a target, all damage dealt to that target is irreducible until the start of your next turn. Very cool, very cool. Remember, um, there's lots of cards that will reduce damage to like all villains, all villain targets, all uh, all minions. And so Riveting Crane basically negates negates all of that. So that's a really cool style. Um, let's check out Bloody Knuckles. Increase all damage dealt to Mr. Fixer by two. Increase all damage dealt by Mr. Fixer by two. At the start of your turn, destroy this card. So this gives him one turn, basically, to deal extra damage. Here's his regular power. One target, one melee damage. It's going to be increased by one, so it'll be two because of Galvanize. So because I want to kill Plague Locust as quickly as possible, it may be useful to play Bloody Knuckles, plus his, uh, plus his attack that's going to be two, three, four damage to Plague Locust. Get it down to only four HP left. Harmony. When both a tool card and a style card are in play, increase damage by Mr. Fixer by one. So again, a style card does something similar to this. When something happens, he can, you know, use two powers. You know, he stun not stuns, but he reduces damage dealt by a target, things like that. Tools are things like, you know, deal two targets, two damage, or deal three targets, one damage, deal one target, two. He can use both tools and styles, but he can only ever have one out at a time. All right, so let's look up the salvage yard. Move all equipment cards from each hero's trash into their hands. If there's a copy of the card Overdrive in your trash, put it into play now. Legacy's card has no equipment card. Yeah, nobody has equipment cards, so I don't think that's worth it. I do think Bloody Knuckles is worth it right now. I don't need to worry about setting up um, to combat irreducible damage right now because everything on the enemy team is taking full damage. So I'll play Bloody Knuckles. Mr. Fixer will use Strike. He'll hit for four on the Plague Locust. So hopefully, actually I haven't even checked this yet. Here's another style. Damage dealt by Mr. Fixer is irreducible. So all his damage is irreducible. Again, probably not that important for now. Here's something that I didn't actually check. And it may not matter, but does Visionary have an offensive card? Um, she does not. Hmm. So, can Tempest do... Okay, good. He has Lightning Slash, yes. Okay, so we will be able to, be able to kill Plague Locust on this, on this round, which is very important. Um, 
So yeah, I think I think I'm just gonna use Lightning Slash. This Plague Locust kind of has to die immediately. I believe he has more than one in his deck, so I will have to keep an eye out. But you know, this Plague Locust is what lets him heal. It what's kind of increases every everybody's damage basically. So I think I'll go ahead and use Lightning Slash. We're gonna lose a little bit of damage. We're gonna lose two points. Kind of gonna go into the ether and kind of be wasted, but that's okay. We'll use this power. Squall, which should do two. We got a good start going. All right, let's take a quick look through Visionary. Each one target one psychic damage. I believe that um, Plague Rat works similarly to Spite in that there's not ever going to be a large number of villain targets out. So this card probably loses a little bit of value against this villain. Reveal the top three cards of the villain deck, put one on top and the two on bottom. I think that's pretty strong. Th top three cards of the environment deck, so basically the same thing as precognition but for the environment. Rest of the mind. Again, I don't know how much use this is going to get unless unless a, um, unless a environment card comes out that's like deal five damage to the you know lowest HP target or something. In that case, I could play that against play this against that character, and then I can redirect that to play Grad every turn. I think for now, I'll play Precognition. Remember, against Spite, Precognition kind of hurt me a little. Well, it didn't really hurt me, but it kind of sped up, um, sped up a problem that I was, that was, um, going to have with Spite playing his good drugs too quickly. Alright, so let's look at these two Infection cards. These are not great. We only have one Infection out right now, so we don't really need to rush to flip him. So, at the start of each turn, each hero turn, if that target is infected, they deal X melee damage to the hero target with the highest HP, where X is the number of infected heroes. So right now there's one infected hero, so he'll do one damage to the to himself, basically, because he's the highest. Uh, Legacy will do one damage to himself, which is not too bad. I don't have any kind of ongoing destruction yet, unfortunately, for Visionary. I did not draw well into that. But basically what I'm going to do is with her power... I'm going to draw cards for herself until I get ongoing destruction. So this power will be specifically for her until I can, I can use it, uh, until I can, I can get some ongoing destruction for her. I forget the name of the. Uh, I was trying to think of the name of the card, but I can't think of it right now. So I think affl uh, afflicted frenzy is where I want to go. I don't want to infect more people if I can help it, at least for now. Um, oh, I didn't mention this before, by the way. I just saw somebody's name, so that reminds me. Um, these gotta go on the bottom. Plague Rat's nemesis is not in the game yet either, which is why I didn't call him out as a character we're going to use against Plague Rat. So um, we don't have to worry about that. It's Chrono Ranger is the is the nemesis, and I, he won't show up for another expansion or two, I think at least. So okay, gonna use Enlighten on herself. That's not what I need. That's not either. Well, that's upsetting. Need to discard something. No, I think I'll get rid of Demoralization again. There's not a lot of extra villain targets in. Plague Rat's deck. So I think it's worth it to go ahead and toss that. Okay, on to the environment turn. I'm kind of scared for Rook City. Blighted Streets. Increased damage dealt to hero targets by one. At the end of each hero's turn, if that hero dealt no damage this turn, the player may discard two cards to destroy this card. Oh man, after this card is destroyed, play the top card of the villain deck. Alright. So I think Legacy will be our guy who's going to... Yep, Inflicted Frenzy, we knew this. Um, wait. At the start of each hero turn, right, okay. So this is not going to happen until Legacy goes. So everybody's going to take one damage. Oh, Blighted Streets, okay, increases it by two. Bloody Knuckles takes that up to four, right. Bloody Knuckles is temporary. Alright. Now Afflicted Frenzy is going to trigger. He's going to hit himself for two. Uh, so two from the infection, and two because of uh, Afflicted Frenzy. Remember that the infection will also deal themselves damage. Okay, so... I have to deal no damage, I think, with Legacy. Oh, he has dealt damage because he dealt damage to himself. Oh no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I don't think this is ever going to come into play. Five or more from Plague Rat is pretty low. Plague Rat and the Infection still a lot of small instances of damage back to back. Um, so I don't think I'm going to bother playing playing that. Lead from the front, maybe I'll need it later. I think for now I'll just play Thok so I can draw a card. 
I hit play grant. And he draws another danger sense. So, not amazing. We're going to galvanize. Alright. Now, before I... Uh, Bloody Knuckles was destroyed. Remember, it only lasted for one turn. Before I go any further, I think what I want to do is confirm that Visionary is not going to deal damage this turn. Okay, so she'll be the one to discard to destroy Blighted Streets. And neither Mr. Fixer or Tempest are going to deal damage to themselves. Or, uh... Well, they'll do damage to the villain, I guess. Yeah. So, I want to play a style. Again, both of them have to deal with generating irreducible or setting up irreducible irreducible damage. But I don't, I don't, I don't know which is better in this situation. So I think I just play riveting crane, and I'll strike the plague rat for two. Alright. You may use Mr. Fixer's strike power twice this turn. I think that's his default. Is that your default attack? Strike, yeah it is. Cool. Alright. Um, Ball Lightning will let me destroy ongoing cards. Interesting. So, since um, Visionary did not actually draw into that, I think it is worth playing Ball Lightning. I'll go ahead and get to do... How much will I do? Five damage to Plague Rat, plus destroy his Afflicted Frenzy seems awfully good to me right now. So I think I'll do that. Oh yeah, look at that. Riveting Crane is making it irreducible. Cool. I like how it actually shows here, you know, basically everything affecting the damage, and then actually the irreducible shows up in pink, or purple, whatever that color is. Very cool. Deals five. Gonna destroy... Remember, I do not want to destroy Infection cards. Because while Plague Rat is on this side, when an infection card is destroyed, every hero takes four. That's really bad. Really bad. But we will destroy Afflicted Frenzy. And we will skip destroying anything else. Um, thankfully, this Ball Lightning says you may destroy up to two. Up to two as well. So not all, not all of them say that. So sometimes you have to destroy you know, a certain number. But thankfully, Ball Lightning will let me choose. So I'm going to skip. And then use his power to do two. Alright. On to Visionary. Remember, Visionary will do no damage this turn. At the end of each hero's turn, if the hero dealt no damage this turn, they can discard two cards. So I'll probably get rid of Telekinetic, Cac tel telekinetic Cocoon and one rest the mind. So for now, I think I'll play Prophetic Vision, just so I can control the environment deck a little bit. Okay, so here's what I got. Ambitious Racketeer. At the end of the environment turn, this card deals three hero targets, two projectile damage. Oh my gosh, he has 13 hit points? This is terrible. That's so strong. He's definitely not going on top. Falling Statuary. When this card enters play, Deal the target with the second lowest HP, three irreducible projectile damage. At the end of the environment turn, destroy this card. So somebody takes three damage. Ooh, scum and villainy. At the end of the environment turn, play the top card of the villain deck. At the start of the villain turn, the villain character card deals each hero target three melee damage, then destroy this card. Wow, that's terrible as well. It's actually kind of cool. Um, I'm not going to talk about it too much, but these are actually villains that will show up later. It's kind of cool. They actually created card art for villains and characters that are not in the game yet. Going, oh, you know what? We know, you know, that this is going to be a villain later in the future. Same thing actually with Prophetic Vision. This half of Legacy looks kind of familiar, right? Same as this guy. This half, however, doesn't show up till later. All right. Anyway, Falling Statuary is going to be the card we're going to put on top for sure. Scum and villainy we are throwing to the very bottom. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, same thing as before. She's going to use this on her own play. Not what I wanted. Also not what I wanted. Alright, I need to destroy one card for her power. Or just carbon card for her power. So that's Telekinetic Cocoon. And now I can destroy two for Blighted Streets. Do decoy projections are really strong. I don't think I want to get rid of them. These are her only damage cards, which we need to hold on to in case we have to do something like burst down a racketeer. 
So I think I'll get rid of one rest of mind. Oh, uh, you know what? No, because I could play this against the Racketeer. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of that. That's okay. I'll get rid of one decoy protection as well. Alright. We know what this is going to be. Oh. Oh, Blast. Yeah. After this card is destroyed, play the top card of the villain deck. Right. So, looks like we've got another infection going on. Yeah. We'll put it on Mr. Fixer for now. So we got two infection cards out. Once we get a third out, we're going to want to rush the fourth one, I think. Falling Statuary, unfortunately, is going to land on... Oh, they all are considered to have the second lowest. So we'll put it on Tempest, since he's not infected yet. So much irreducible damage. Alright, here we go. Plague Rat. What's he going to do? Bestial Vitality. Reduce damage dealt to Plague Rat by one. At the end of the villain turn, Plague Rat deals, regains three HP. So yeah, I, uh, okay, it doesn't matter. I, uh, I need that ongoing destruction from Visionary quickly. He's going to regain 3 HP, which is unfortunate. Alright, he's going to hit himself for one. I also need the healing from Tempest as well, that would be nice. Or the healing from Legacy, really. Alright. When this card enters play, Legacy deals himself 3 melee damage. Hero targets other than Legacy are immune to damage. I'm not quite ready for that. I might use this at the end if I kind of have to sacrifice Legacy or something. I think I'll go ahead and play Danger Sense just to get it out there. He's now immune to the environment, and all heroes increase damage. Alright. Gonna uh, hit himself for... Oh, Galvanize is gonna increase infection damage as well. Oh no. Okay, note to self in the future. Legacy is actually not good. At least, this variant of Legacy is not good to bring against Plague Rat. Alright, good to know. Oh, and he dealt himself that damage. So, because he dealt himself damage, <laughs> damage dealt to him now is irreducible. That's funny. Okay. Overdrive. You may use Mr. Fixer Strike Power twice this turn. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, no really reason not to, I think. He doesn't have any tools out, so his damage is just going to be low. Unfortunately. Uh, this is actually going to yeah, be one because of... Bestial Vitality is going to reduce damage dealt to him. Very unfortunate. Remember, normally you can't use the same power twice, but um, Overdrive specifically allows you to use the same power twice. Alright. Oh yeah, that's right. So the first strike... Oh, there's a piece of equipment. So before I talk about this, that's actually kind of cool. A cool interaction. Because he got to attack twice... Hang on. Well, I'm not done with Mr. Fixer yet. There we go. Because he got to attack twice with Overdrive, his first attack made the damage irreducible. And remember, this is supposed to reduce damage. So, that's actually kind of a cool interaction. His second strike was not reduced because his first strike hit. Ah, cool, I like that. Reduce damage dealt to Tempest by one. I think it's going to be kind of important right now. I think that's going to be important to play. Again, shielding wins. I can't imagine ever doing anything. So, we're going to deal one. Riveting Crane makes it irreducible, so it goes up to two. I tell you what, I kind of... Hmm. Right. I'm just thinking I need to get his healing power out as well. One target, three psychic damage. Actually, she's kind of low, so I might play, play Decoy Projection for now. Which I think I'll do. And I think I'll still play her power on herself, so she can draw... Two, and she did not get what she needed. Twist the Ether could be interesting here. I could play it next to one of my characters. Um, that way, whenever they deal infection damage to themselves, I can reduce the damage. But whenever they um, deal damage to the enemy, I can increase it. So I actually think that would be a good play in the future. So I don't want to get rid of that. Um, precognition, definitely not. Psychic Maelstrom, maybe. I think Psychic Maelstrom I'll get rid of. I kind of see too much value in these others. Alright, back to the environment. Please don't be too bad. Dr. Tremata. This card is immune to damage from hero targets. At the end of the environment turn, reveal the top two cards of the environment deck. Put one on top of the environment deck and one on bottom. Then the villain, 
then the villain car character card either deals this card or the hero with the lowest HP for melee damage. Interesting. So this is actually a good character who's going to... Oops, I dropped my mouse. I didn't drop it, but it, it fell. This is actually a good character card, or a good environment card, who's actually going to help me control the environment. I definitely want to do that. On top of the deck, Tony Taurus. Hey, this is another good one. Card is immune to damage from hero targets. At the end of the environment turn, reveal the top two cards of the villain deck. Put one on top and one on the bottom. This actually works the same way uh, as Dr. Tramada, but it affects the villain deck instead. So I definitely want to put this on top. And Scum and Villainy is awful, and I never want to see it. So I, that went to the bottom. Uh, Visionary is just too low, so it's going to have to be the Doctor who takes this damage. Which is fine. She can take at least one hit. Alright, what do you got, Plague Rat? Sewer Fiend. Ongoing. Plague Rat is immune to toxic damage. Whenever Plague Rat would be dealt, dealt damage by an environment card, redirect that damage to an infected hero. If there's no infected heroes, prevent that damage. Look how bad. Look how many environment, uh, ongoing cards. Alright, anyway. Plague Rat's going to hit everybody for one. It is irreducible. Decoy Projection will take one. Decoy Projection will take another. That's fine. Alright, Lexi's going to hit himself. For one. What do we got? Fortitude. This could be pretty good play. I think that actually is going to be my play right now. Yeah, let's play Fortitude. Buff everybody's damage. Unfortunately, that means Mr. Fixer's going to hit himself a bit harder. Just removing a bunch of irreducible effects, which is fine. Yeah. Alright. This is his first tool, Tire Iron. All damage dealt by Mr. Fixer is projectile damage, so I guess he's going to throw a bunch of tire irons. After Mr. Fixer damages a target, if that target has two or few HP, destroy it. When this card enters play, return any other tool cards in play to your hand. Do styles work the same way? No, you actually destroy style cards that, uh, that um, are in play when others get played, whereas this one you to return it to your hand. So I can't imagine this is ever going to be useful. Um, the destroy target if it has two or fewer HP, but it might be, so we'll go ahead and play it. Then we're going to hit the play grant for... Yeah. For one. Okay. Search your trash and your deck for one style card. Put it into play or into your hand. It's actually pretty good. I think I'm going to want to do that next turn. Alright, do I have anything that can... One target, five melee damage. No. Well, I don't really have anything to play other than Lightning Slash. So we'll hit uh, Playground for six. You know, it's funny. The Riveting Crane style is actually coming into play, like, pretty significantly. I almost don't want to overwrite it, at least while Bestial Vitality is out. Alright, he'll use his Power Squall. Do two. And one, but again, Dr. Tramata is immune. Gene Bound Shackles. Alright, back to Visionary. I think we want to use Precognition. Keep want to keep controlling this uh, this villain deck. Immune to talk to damage. Or do I want to twist the ether on Mr. Fixer? We're all kinda of, we're all in the teens now, everybody. 18, 16, 17, 12. I've got to you know, now I'm kinda of thinking I need to switch to Tempest using the draw to discard one to get to his healing rain faster. Oh boy. I think precognition is still going to be stronger. Whenever Plague Rat deals five or more damage to a single target, play the top card of the villain deck. I don't think I'm going to have to deal with this at all. So I think this is a good play. I don't know what happens. He's already got a sewer fiend out. I don't know what happens if he gets another out. Uh, I don't. I assume it wouldn't redirect it twice. Anyway, I think I'm gonna pick Shadowy Ambush to go to the top, and then uh, we'll put his other infection at the very bottom. I'm actually gonna play this on Tempest, just to hope that he gets localized. Hurricane's actually pretty good, um, because it's just straight up more damage, and he gets to draw two cards. Um, 
he just takes more damage. Anyway, we'll discard shield and wins. I'm just not getting the draws that I need to make this easy. <laughs> Alright, environment card is going to play, but we know what this is at the end of the environment turn. Reel the top two cards of the villain deck. Put one on top, one on bottom. Alright, what's well, going to go into play? Remember, this is Dr. Chamada checking the environment deck. Increased damage dealt to hero targets, I don't really like. The second lowest HP, I think, is probably better. Uh, so this will go on top, and the other will go on bottom. And then, um... I think this is fine. I'll, I'll let the decoy projection take this four. And he'll, he'll die, but that's totally fine. It'll keep Dr. Chamada in play once, uh, one more turn. It's gonna be really strong. So decoy projection is dead. Now let's check. We know Shadowy Ambush is already on top. Hey, look, there's Chrono Ranger. Right there. Anyway, and there's Bunker. <laughs> Playground deals each hero target other than the hero target with the lowest HP, two melee, and two toxic damage. Gross. I think we'll stick with Shadowy Ambush being on top. And we'll let Tony Taurus take this hit. Awesome. Alright, Plague Rat, we know what you're going to play. Shadowy Ambush, which is fine. And then everybody's going to take one Irreducible. And he's going to regain three, right. Well, my plan of healing and ongoing destruction <laughs> is kind of dead in the water right now. Of my two healing heroes, nobody has healing. I have no ongoing removal. I don't really like any of these plays. I guess I can do lead from the front. The only problem with this, with this is uh, it's going to just add a ton of pop-ups to the game because every time Plagrat hits somebody, it's going to it's going to slow the game down a little bit. So I think I'll play Superhuman Durability, at least for now. I don't anticipate him ever taking five or more at once. But if he does, it'll get reduced. And it'll still be reduced by Fortitude as well. Next evolution might be pretty useful at some point. Alright. He's going to hit himself for <laughs> projectile damage. Yeah. Uh, I think I want to play Meditation, see if I can't get a style that will be better. I definitely want to check the deck. The first time each turn that Mr. Fixer will be dealt two or less damage, you may redirect that damage to a target of your choice. Hmm. Interesting. The first time each turn. So that means on his own turn, he's going to hit himself with infection. And he'll get to redirect that. And if Plagrat ever hits him for one, which he will, because he does every turn, he'll get to redirect that as well, because it's on a different turn. Uh, what's this? What's this option? Whenever Mr. Fixer deals damage, you may choose the type of damage. Increase damage dealt by Mr. Fixer by one. Hmm. I think I want Driving Mantis for now. And we're going to put it into play directly. Cool. Alright, I think we'll go ahead and s throw a tire iron at Playground. Another tool. Whenever Mr. Fixer would deal damage to a target, he deals that much damage to all non-hero targets. When this, so, yeah, makes him like an AoE hero. I think for sure localized hurricane is my play here. And I'm gonna use its power. And I'm gonna hit him for three, but I'll also get to draw two cards. And I have to get through. I'm gonna stop dealing damage. I have to get through his deck. Oh my gosh, I keep drawing the wrong stuff. There it is! Okay, it's cleansing downpour, not cleansing rain. So I think probably next turn I'm going to play that with Tempest, and I'll probably never use a different power with him. Uh, which is unfortunate, but still okay. Um, Alright, I think we're going to twist the ether on Mr. Fixer. I think that's what we're going to do. Yes, twist the ether. It's going to go on Mr. Fixer. Again, twist the ether is going to slow the game down a little bit, but not terribly. Alright, she needs to use her, uh, her uh, envision on herself now. She needs the... No. Get rid of Telekinetic. She needs the ongoing destruction pretty badly at this point. Alright, environment's coming up. I believe we know it's going to play. Statu yeah, Falling Statuary. It's going to hit... Oh. Oh, it's going to hit one of them. I think we can go ahead and take out Dr. Tramada. We don't want to take out Tony Taurus yet because he's not had his chance uh, to, to control the 
villain deck, so we'll go ahead and confirm that. Sorry, Doc. My statue just fell on you. Alright, here is... Uh, well. Either way, it's going to be an infection. So we have just a straight-up infection. Or we have Noxious Bite, which is damage and then an infection. So it makes a lot of sense just to put the infection on top. Um, since I'm going to get some healing going, I think... I think it's okay for Visionary to take this hit. I'm kind of okay with this. Because I'm going to get some... Uh, th for the rest of the game, basically, I'm going to have two points of healing every single turn. So I think that's going to be okay. He's going to play his Infection, right? Which, for sure, is going to go on Tempest. So that's fine. And he's going to do one. So I'm going to have to go a bit slower here because Mr. Fixer has some uh, some different interactions. So Playgrat's going to hit him for one, and he's going to redirect it to Playgrat. So Playgrat will hit himself. Oh, um, because... Oh, interesting. So it would normally be Toxic Damage, right? Oh, no, Melee. Okay. Yeah, Melee. Alright, localized hurricane's gonna increase his damage, so that's fine. Gonna heal a little bit. Ugh, ongoing destruction is just murdering me right now. Infection, he's gonna hit himself, right? I guess I'll do next evolution. I'm not gonna use that power though. I still wanna galvanize. Alright, that's a good one. That's a good card. Okay. He's going to hit himself. So this is setting up damage type. I need to make sure I do this in the correct order the first time. Okay. So it doesn't really matter the order, I don't think. So Twist the Ether is going to change it to, remember, he's immune to Toxic, so we never want to pick Toxic. So we'll just make it Radiant Damage. Why not? We'll have Legacy modify it first. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Now we want to... Oh, do we want to increase it or decrease it? Okay, remember, it has to be two or less in order for it get to be redirected, right? Two or less. So it's one What's one on its own. Let me just check. I ha that has to be correct. Otherwise, I'm going to hit myself. So one irreducible, boosted by galvanize, boosted by twist the ether would make it three. So I actually have to reduce this by one. says or I guess I can't pick though huh either way we're gonna oh interesting so I actually get to twist the ether twice so I get to twist it and reduce it when it comes in but when it goes back out I also get to increase it so bestial vitality will reduce it but then twist the ether will increase it interesting all right so let's figure this out infection dealt one to him Driving Mantis said, hey, we can redirect it. Tire Iron made it projectile damage. Twist the Ether then made it radiant damage. Galvanize increased it. And Twist the Ether increased it. Okay. I think I followed that. Uh, Alright. Do we want to play anything? Yeah, look at this. When both a tool card and a style card are in play, increase damage dealt by Mr. Fixer by one. So Harmony's going to go out. So now when he hits, I'm going to hit Playgrat. Alright, what should modify first? It doesn't really matter. We're just going to pick um, Infernal Damage this time. Alright, cool. we got so many things modifying his damage. I'm just going to say choose for me. Um, yeah, choose. Choose. Alright, and then increase. So Mr. Fixer is going to hit. Tire Iron changes it to Projectile. Plus the Ether changes it to Infernal. Galvanize up one, Beastle Vitality down one, Twist the Ether Harmony. So a total of three. <laughs> so complicated. But it, it's all working out. Alright. Right, he's infected now. Oh, wow. Wow, that's bad. Is this a power to get to... Oh, it's a power to destroy that card. Crap. Alright, he has to play Cleansing Downpour. Um, and he has to he has to destroy localized hurricane now. 
that just means no healing. Okay, maybe not. I won't do it this turn because um, Visionary is just so low. So they all went up two, which is good. Huh. All right. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I think we do prophetic vision to incro uh, to control the environment deck further. Scum and villainy, awful. Toxic sludge. At the end of the environment turn, they'll each target with at least five HP, two toxic damage. Then they'll each target with at least ten HP, three toxic damage. So if you have ten or more, or if you have twelve HP, you're gonna take five damage. At the start of the environment turn, each player may discard one card. Any player that does may destroy one environment card. Interesting backlines. Reduce damage dealt to villain targets by one. At the end of the environment turn, players may play both the top card of the villain deck and the top card of the environment deck. If they do, destroy this card. Ouch. Uh... All of these are really bad, aren't they? So this is each hero target three. And an extra um, villain card. Yes, Toxic Sludge is 5 damage, 5 damage, 5 damage, 3 damage. Much worse, much, much worse. Twisting Back Alleys is just so much playing. Hmm. I guess we'll do Twisting Back Alleys. We're just going to get an extra, extra bunch of cards. At this point, I'm kind of okay if we if we pull out a uh, another infection card, the very bottom of the deck, scum and villainy for sure. Because if we do, everybody will be infected. She's gonna play this on herself. Oh man, uh, it's a power. It's a power card, but it's just the wrong power. It's the wrong power. I don't think I'm gonna ever want this right now. Um, alright, so we're gonna hit Twisting Back Alleys. Do we want to do this yet? I think we do. Just because damage, all damage dealt to, uh, to Plague Rat is reduced by two right now. That just seems like way too much. Alright. Plague Rat deals each hero target other than the hero target with the highest HP, two toxic damage. Search for the villain, search the villain deck for as many copies of the card Infection. As a hero target, is damage like. Hmm. So this might actually be good. Um. Let's see. So the, these three will take damage, but he'll also play three infection cards. One will go to visionary, but the other two will just get thrown in his trash. So the so the more infection cards we can we can just get out of his deck, the better, because once we clear all our infections. Um. If he can't infect us anymore, then this fight gets a lot easier. How many infection cards does he have? No clue. No clue. I probably should check that before I started playing. For sure there's three out here. Either that or another shadowy ambush, which literally will do nothing. Except if he ever does deal five damage to me, he's going to play two cards, which sounds awful. Um, I kind of want to go with Ravage. Look at that, there's Mr. Fixer and Visionary. Just kind of getting slapped <laughs> by Playground. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the best play here. Um, HP is is getting to be an issue. Everybody's around half, except for Visionary. I guess half is not too bad. Alright, let you know what, let's just live. Let's live on the edge. Let's do Ravage on top. And uh, we're going to have Tony take this damage now. Goodbye, Tony. Thank you for your help, though. Do we want to play the top cards of the villain deck and the environment deck? Well, we know what's going to be on top of the villain deck. Right? Now, if we play them now... Actually, this is kind of good. If we play it now, he'll play his infection, we'll take some damage, and then when it's his turn again, he'll flip. Right? And then we can all use this power to drop our infection. Right, I, 
epic. I like that. Uh, so yes, let's do that now. We knew Ravage was coming. Just choose for me. Um, oh, yeah. Let's redirect it back. Alright, so we're... Oh, nope. Twist the ether should... Oh, come on. Why couldn't I twist the ether that damage back out? Oh, well. Alright. Infection's gonna go on. Visionary. Right. And then these two infections are going to get tossed. Alright. Uh, Afflicted Frenzy came out. Oh, another Toxic Sludge. Well, alright. This is bad. We're all gonna take a lot of damage. I'm just go ahead and hit him first, I guess. Oh, no. He's immune to toxic damage. Look how good ongoing destruction would be for me right now. Danger self, which is good. Vision, I might just die. Nope, never mind. She's not going to take any more damage from this. So it's just Mr. Fixer who took a heavy, heavy damage. He's going to flip. All right. Uh, let me just remind myself, at the start of each hero turn... Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is actually really bad. Afflicted Frenzy with four heroes infected is just going to rip me apart. I'm gonna redirect to Plague Rat. He's immune. Vicious Onslaught. Plague Rat deals each hero target other than the hero target with the lowest HP, two melee damage, and two toxic. Crap. How is this guy in difficulty too? I've never understood this. He just does so much damage all the time. Alright, and this is just his regular damage. One to everybody. Alright, and this is where I'm going to start dying, I think, right now. Look at this. One, one, four, twelve. Infection's going to hit Legacy. Afflicted Frenzy is going to hit himself for three. <sighs> Alright. I think it's time for Heroic Interception. This will let each one of them use a power to get rid of a um, infection for free. So that's fine. Um... I don't know why you'd ever want to do this. I guess if you had one hero target that was really low, and you had another that was really high. I don't know. Um, Alright, well, I guess I'm just going to... Well, if I hit him for four, I can destroy an infection. Alright, we'll destroy the one on, I guess, Tempest, since he's at one HP. And they can't take damage. So the rest of them are actually going to be clear from this, which is fine, but... Um, this is going to change it to fire. I'm not sure why I couldn't re redirect. Yeah, okay, now this I should be able to reduce. I'm not sure why I can't redirect it. Because of, um, because of Driving Mantis. I'm not sure why I'm not being, I'm not able to, to redirect those, but, oh well. Now none of these I want to play, I don't think. Oh yeah, actually I do. Actually, no I don't. Because he has to use this. He's going to do this, but he's uh, it's not going to hurt him at all. Because of Heroic Interception. Oh, that's why. Right, Heroic Interception is dealing zero. And so that's why it's not... Um, yeah, makes sense. That's why it's not dealing any damage, because he can't redirect zero damage. Okay... I have so many powers that I need to get rid of, or need to do with Tempest, but I feel like I have to heal. Otherwise, it's just going to be bad for everybody. Um, I'm not too confident at this point, really. I might pull out a win, maybe. But look at Plague Rat, he's still at 61 damage. So, I either just drew really poorly, or... Um, or I didn't do this right. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my, uh, <laughs> my mouse setup. There you go. Okay, um, what do I do? 
What do I do? I guess, uh... Cleansing downpour. Just to keep everybody off of that death door. I mean, they're already at death door, but... Okay. Guess I'll mine spike. I don't know why. Minus... Yeah, just minus one, yeah. She'll use... Oh, right, she's actually not infected anymore. Okay, well. Legacy, I guess, can draw. Maybe get some healing. No, of course not. <laughs> um, it doesn't need another danger sense, I guess. So there we go. Now I think we can discard cards to get rid of Toxic Sludge. Yeah, we're definitely going to do that. Definitely. Legacy Ring is actually pretty good. Then we get rid of next evolution here. No, lead from the front. He's definitely not. We're not definitely not redirecting damage to him right now. Doesn't need another gene bound shackles. Doesn't need a second rest of mind. Destroy. There's another to destroy. Ah. Further reduced damage. Uh, I don't want to deal with this right now. I don't think that I can. Alright. What's it doing? I'm not sure why he's hitting everybody for two. At the start of the villain turn, Plague Rat deals each infected hero to toxic damage. Then, if any active heroes are not infected, flip. Okay. He's flipped. One shot. Hero target with the lowest HP, three toxic damage. Hero target with the highest HP, five melee damage. And who's going to be the lowest? Well, somebody's going to die. It's going to be... Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness. Please, Legacy, don't have the highest. Oh, thank goodness. All right, I'm playing another heroic interception. Right away. Right away. Heroic Interception is going to block so much damage. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Lexi going to hit himself. Right. Oh, if I play another Heroic Interception, he's just dead. He's just dead. So, I don't think we do that. I think we play Boister Allies. And then next evolution. What, um... What can I play that will keep him from dying? He is infected. So is he. I don't know. Uh, I don't know the right play here. I think I'll just play Boister Allies. Let everybody draw. Who knows? Maybe I'll draw onto something that will save me. At this point, I think... Oh, that's three Grievous Hailstorms for Tempest. Tempest! I don't need those, man. I don't need them. Oh, he's on the wrong side. He's not on the right side, so I actually can't even do that. Interesting. All right, let's just galvanize. I, I've kind of resigned myself to a loss here. Um, you know, anybody watching this, uh, if you have if you have a suggestion for how to take on this guy, please tell me. Please let me know in the comments. Like, I don't. I just have. I have yet to ever beat this guy. It's a little disheartening. Uh, just choose, that's fine. Reduce it by one. Ow. Still was three. Galvanize and Harmony are messing me up big time. Ow. I'm actually, this is really bad. F fixer is not... Yeah, look at that. He just killed himself. Oh, he said... Put him down. Oh, no. Yeah, he's down. About to say put him down to one, but... Select the equipment card and here is trash put into play. One player may draw a card now. Oh, destroy an ongoing card. Destroy an ongoing card. Afflicted Frenzy's gotta go. It's gotta be the first one. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. <laughs> I don't even know. None of these are good. Electrical Storm, I guess. Cleansing Downpour's gotta be the play. I just got too many people at low HP. Visionary? 
Mind spike. I'll only do two. Keep drawing, hopefully, into that. There it is. Wow. Mental divergence. After how many turns are we in now? About 10? 12 turns in? Finally get it. No, I'm not discarding it. Are you kidding me? Alright, well, if, if I survive to the next turn, I'm going to be able to destroy two ongoing. We will see. Uh, another falling statuary is going to hit. Um, definitely not Tempest, because he'll just die to Plague Rat. So. Alright. Uh, I do not want to play this. I cannot handle this yet. Well, Tooth and Claw is going to kill Visionary, and it's going to kill, uh, yeah, Tempest. And Legacy's down to one, and he's going to hit for one Irreducible just for his base. And there it goes. I'm wiped out. Man. So that's two losses to Difficulty 2 villains. The only things left now are Difficulty 3 and 4 villains. This is the music, by the way. Each villain has their own music, which I actually learned reading the Steam comments, and it only plays when you lose to them. Which is pretty cool. Sounds pretty cool. And if, if anything could be no, more depressing, there's Legacy, Tachyon, and Raw all turned into giant evil rats. So there you go. There's Plague Rat. Um, again, if anybody knows what to do against this guy, if they got a strategy that they know always works, please let me know in the comments, and... I will for sure try it the next time I, I try to tackle him. Uh, but that'll do it for this episode. Thanks guys so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.